Who needs a beer with me? Tom. Hey, Mike. Hi. Good. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Just saying hi to my neighbors. So. Socially staying away from everybody. That's a good idea. I think I just got over it. So you guys should keep your distance. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But I'm over it now. So. Anyway, talking to some friends online. We'll catch up soon. Okay. Good. All right. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, those are my neighbors, Mike. <laughs> And Gloria, and uh, they're uh, they're great people. They're living right next door to me. It's good to be outside seeing people that uh, I know, even if they're 20 feet away. Um, but uh, welcome. We're just going to have abbreviated edition today uh, because it's a beautiful day outside, and really nobody should be sitting inside too long today, uh, watching Facebook Live um, or YouTube Live or whatever you're watching this on. So. I do have a beer. Someone brought me some fresh beer today. I'm like yesterday, I had uh, a bunch of old beer in my house, which was really sad. So here's some uh, hop dab for today. And um, I'm going to pour myself that. Uh, I'm going to remind you guys to consider uh, tipping our staff because they are our tap from staff on the top. So consider doing that. Um, they are currently not working, not making tips, except for maybe one or two people in the tap room that are earning some tips. Uh, uh, just, uh, you know, doing growlers and crawlers out the front or uh, front of the brewery, which you can buy as well. Uh, we do have growlers to go, crawlers to go, 750 milliliter crawlers and also growlers. Uh, so consider picking up some of that to go. Uh, it's also available in our Milwaukee tap room as well. There are the hours there available this weekend. Um, consider that. You can also get gear to go, especially if you order online. Uh, think about all the nice, cool, indeed gear you can still buy, even though you can't come to the tap room. Um, so yeah, those are all great options. Uh, cheers to everybody. It's, uh, the eve of the shelter in place order taking effect tonight. I believe at 1159 PM here in uh, Minneapolis in the entire state of Minnesota. Um, so yeah, get out and enjoy this beautiful day. Not that you won't be allowed to enjoy the weather, even with the, um, with the, uh, shelter in place order coming up. Speaking of weather, uh, one of our employees, Morgan, her husband, uh, her husband is actually a weatherman. I'm not going to call him an amateur. His name is, uh, is Aaron Schaefer, and he runs a website called uh, forecastmn.com, and he's actually given us a weather forecast for the weekend. So we're going to – I can't say I've ever wanted to be a weatherman, but here's the weather coming up for the weekend. So um, Twin Cities, seven-day outlook. Look at that. Tomorrow is, it looks like it's going to be kind of crappy, uh, 47 degrees and rainy. He said there was even a chance of uh, possibly some lightning in the morning. And it was going to lighten up, and then it was going to get heavier in the afternoon again. But uh, Monday, looking beautiful, almost 60 degrees. And since a lot of us don't have to go to work, maybe we can enjoy the weather then. So uh, something to look forward to there. Uh, again, you know, I just kind of wanted to check in and say, hey, like, uh, thanks for joining us in these shows. Thanks for the tips you guys have been sending our staff. Uh, one more time, you can look at that. Um, they, they really appreciate it. Uh, they got paid out here recently. Uh, or they're getting paid out here recently, and uh, it's really going to a good cause for those guys. They're really looking forward to getting back to work. Hopefully May 1st, the government says we're going to be able to open back up. Mm. Take a drink of my beer. Oh, it's good. Um, but, yeah, you know, get out and enjoy the weather this weekend. I was um, thinking a lot. Yesterday I went for a walk, and it was uh, really refreshing to get out of the house after I'd been sick for a number of days. Um, but I just sort of – it was it just took me a little walk, and – Boy, I got my head in a whole new space just thinking about how, you know, kind of what happens here in the next month isn't really that important. You know, it's going to be an anomaly. Uh, find your way to get through it. But I'm trying to get my head set, my, my frame of mind looking out 
more towards uh, towards May and towards and beyond. You know, like trying to trying to think positively and trying to think what what am I doing today to to be effective then. Um, not that what you do today and tomorrow and through this next month uh, doesn't matter. Uh, but, it, you know, don't dwell on it too much because really at the end of the day, it's just going to be a blip in our lives that um, that will be gone and uh, we'll all be in a much better spot here, you know, I think in about a month when things start to open back up. Uh, you know, of course, stay healthy and and uh, don't forget to drink the occasional beer if that's your thing. Um, get out there and exercise. Uh, do all those things that help us kind of get through the day. But, but you know, I think it's time to start moving past uh, dwelling on um the changes that we've experienced in the last few weeks and it's time to start looking forward. I know I've been super proud of all of our staff at the brewery. Uh, I mean, that's my little world. I know you guys have all your own little world, but we have an amazing staff of people that have been um, working through incredible conditions and uh, they are like never been hungrier um, to, to sell beer, I guess at the end of the day, but it's, it's more than that to us. It's uh, it's about the customers and it's about um, the relationships that we have and, and all that. And so it's been really awesome to, see them do that even if it's been from afar um so i'm super proud of my staff and uh uh, you know just i think we're all really eager to just kind of just grind through the next month and then and get to may and then into june and um and we're talking more and more seriously about the kind of party we want to throw when this is all over but uh you know thanks again for just joining me today for this quick toast you know we started this thing just kind of as a little substitute uh, for not being able to be in the tap room and, and hang out and drink beers with uh, coworkers and with our friends. Uh, so it's been fun to have all of you join us, and I want you guys all to have a wonderful weekend. We're going to pick this back up again next week. We are applying. We figured out how to do, like, um, Zoom meeting guests. I know where technology is evolving, and this being the simplest show yet, I think we probably won't have any technical difficulties. I guess that assumes uh, that you guys can hear me right now, but... Uh, you know, yeah, just have a great weekend. Enjoy the, the weather that we are going to have uh, earlier next week. And uh, hey, it's rainy tomorrow. Put a rain jacket on. Go for a run in the rain. I don't care. Um, I'll do it. Uh, so anyway, cheers and thanks for joining us and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.